All right, so this is truck 35. We've done a full upgrade on the back end of this truck, LED work lights, uh, newer LED light bar with also work lights and brake lights. Uh, we moved the license plate up and put an LED uh, license plate light on that. The back end of the truck has got uh, LED brake lights. We've tried to kind of LED everything we can. So you can see we got those uh, LED work lights on the back, the uh, marker lights, the reverse lights are regular non-LED. Axle straps for our safety chains make it a whole lot easier to get hooked up. We've got two sets of go or one set of go jacks, trash can, absorbent can for uh, dry sweep for oil, and a uh, diesel and gas can. All of our compartments have LED lighting in them. On this side, we keep uh, our we keep a set of straps on each side, one for the wheel lift and one for each dolly side by side. So there's two here and there's two on the other side. This side we've got uh, tie-off rope for steering wheels as long as well as some motorcycle straps. Keep our tow lights in the box. This is just cleaning stuff to uh, keep the truck clean. In here we've got uh, as well some cribbing, uh, wheel chocks, and then these are spacers for uh, cars that have uh, smaller tires and you need to get a little bit extra clearance. You can slide these on. See LED lighting there. We'll get to the driver's side tunnel. First aid kit, you get again some more cleaning stuff, fire extinguisher, flares, and uh, we've got a uh, little set of lockout tools, pretty basic for that. Little toolbox with some tools, a couple of rags. Carry some lumber in here, we've got our triangles, um, broom and shovel, dolly rails, also LED compartment lighting. Get to the inside of the truck in a minute. There is no outside controls on this truck, so everything is operated from a remote control inside the cab, which makes it easy to back up, hook up, and this whole thing is fully automated. This side, we've got our service jack, two and a half ton. Uh, we've got our uh, hammers and hubcap tools here. Another strap, another strap there. We've got some balls there for doing trailers. There's an attachment there. A couple of cross uh, crossbars there for changing tires. A little funnel for fuel delivery. That's pretty much it for this box. Got a couple of trash bags in case you need them. This side here we've got a air hose. We have onboard air on this truck. Uh, jumper cables, our snatch block for recoveries. J chains, and there should be a recovery chain in there. Probably isn't. I'll have to get around to getting one on here. Um, there's our dolly stuff. This all slides out this way, and that's the uh, bar to set it up. Dolly axles are kept underneath the truck, so they're a little easier to get out on each side. Um, we'll go through the cab. It's kind of a little dirty, but pretty basic. This is a 2010 F450. Um, this has got the little bit, the cloth seat and the power package. So we've got power locks and power mirrors and power windows. Uh, your basic setup, we've got our uplifter switches here, which uh, control all of our auxiliary stuff. Tail control, unfortunately, we don't use that on this truck because the back end only has a four pin connector. Uh, we did upgrade the radio uh, because the old Ford one just took a shit and we had to put a new one in. Um, basic cruise control steering wheel um, not a whole lot of features up in here got our uh, shop radio got a switch down here that turns on our air compressor get our onboard air going so if I got a tire call to go do when I'm in this truck I'll just flip that on my way it'll automatically shut off when it's full uh, these switches that one's my light bar these two are my rear work lights and then this one is my remote control for the hydraulic system which so you can see is this guy here and it's just got basically five functions fold up and down for the lift in and out up and down for the whole boom assembly and open and close on the claws and then an in and out for the winch cable pretty much it uh, not a whole lot of stuff uh, kind of going on there it's a little bit a little bit more of a stripped down truck uh, this is a 2010 f450 so it's not the uh, heavy dutiest truck in our fleet but it's a decent little truck for getting around I actually just changed the uh, <laughs> the radiator in it and I forgot to put this license plate bracket back there it is snap 
pop that back in there. The nice thing about this one is you got to work on it. The hood opens up. The whole grill goes with it. So, well, uh, we do have one special feature. I actually just got done fixing that up. And that is, as long as my uh, power is active for the control, got this little guy here. This is a remote control for my winch. <laughs> I've tried it about a hundred feet away. Here's what I'll do, I'll stand back. Probably, probably about a good hundred right now, maybe. Let's keep walking. All right, let's stop here right about the flag. Yep. That works, I'm gonna go back a little bit further. I was curious to see how much uh, distance this will do. Still working, so I know I get out 100 feet with this thing and this cable, the remote control will still work. This has an on and off button as well. It's one of the nice things about having uh, electric spool valves on this truck is any winch control can be wired in uh, to work with it, so that's an upside. All right, guys, well, this is a quick tour of the truck because there ain't a whole lot to see on this truck. But if you like this video and you like this kind of series where I'm doing truck tours, uh, this truck does run on gas. It's a V10 gas engine. Um, but, yeah, if you like these kind of videos, let me know and uh, see if I can do some more for you. Thanks for watching.